All right, so this number one featherweight contender is no stranger to this setting. Tonight, though, he believes he's just a much better version of himself and finally has the goods and the chops to actually be a world champion. Sometimes you get there, John, you're just not ready. It's not easy to become the best in the world. The first time this man got here, he was a great fighter. He was good, but he just wasn't ready to be the best in the world. He said that the moment he got back home, he went to work for him too. He feels like all the improvements were made, and tonight he is the best featherweight the UFC has. And it does seem as though we have taken two-way action on this fight, but a lot of people believe in the challenger. I'm just talking about his coaches and see how it goes. center of the octagon here. He's fighting behind a nice jab. Oh, nice count. Yes. All right, we will see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's going to work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this one. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card. And if you're Jose Aldo, you want to fight behind him. Aldo gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Oh, my goodness, he both going at him. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Man, back and forth we go. And early on, these guys getting after it. They told us it would be fun, and so far, they've delivered. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on display. Let's go. Keep those hands up. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Swifts on that offering. Nice job to set up the counter there. He waited patiently, and when his opponent got a little bit over-aggressive, he greeted him with a beautiful counter. Nicely done. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Keeping him honest with the jab. Oh, nice. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown. And it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. Aldo's in half guard now. Making all these shots count. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. Oh, massive kick lands flush. 
right hook to the head block. Two minutes now to go in round one. Nasty body kick downstairs. Oh, working the body with that kick again. Late round action here, and it has been vintage Jose Aldo all night mixing up his weapons absolutely beautifully on the feet. He's mixing them up beautifully, and he's doing a great job of recognizing, hey, this is where I'm best. I know my hands are great. I know my grappling's great. But when I get these leg kicks going, no one can go with me. It's showing again why Jose Aldo is just a man. Oh, doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively, let's go. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Trying to set up that counterattack. Clean punch. Under a minute to go. Back and forth we go. These two were intent to make a good fight. Oh, nice kick. Calf kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Dude better check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. Just misses with the straight right. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Let's go, let's focus, let's go. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the leg or to the body. What are you talking about? level highlights from that last round DC take us through the replay if he fought like this I would be comfortable entering him into a k1 level right kickboxing competition he's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will he needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on you ready to fight ready second round on the way all right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage from the opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Real bad. High volume on both sides, and both of these guys are giving it as good as they're taking. Oh, that's high kick. Oh my goodness. Oh, crippling knee to the body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Yes, the single collar tie now. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. 
Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Slips. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. Back and forth we go. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and start to find himself in the pocket. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Under two minutes to go here in our second round. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, it's it. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. So that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He's taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Nice shot there by the champ. Under a minute to go here in our second round. Circling away towards the left now. Oh, nice little right hook there. Huge block there. Aldo's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. 20 seconds left. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Oh, flying knee to the dome piece. Final seconds here. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're going to see that check. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Ooh. Gets to the single collar time. Beautiful setup to the legs. 
Lands a big right hand there. Went for the inside leg kick. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Aldo's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Just over three minutes now to go. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big shot lands for both guys. Back to the jab now. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Why right, we told you we'd keep an eye on it. DC, that cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Judges here, look how wobbly he is. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Another one! All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something, because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut, and now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done. Oh! Seconds winding down in round three. to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just gonna get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. So unable to connect on the uppercut. Just out of range with that kick attempt. 
I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Aldo's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and that kick is blocked. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Takedown defense holds up. Left hook to the head. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Aldo's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Oh, the kick landed. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Aldo's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross on to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Just over two minutes to go. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh! oh, he might get finished here. Oh, he just continues to attack that cut around the eye. Got to think his vision's compromised now. As he should. Right, he sees the blood poured into his opponent's eyes. His opponent now is squinting, trying to maintain his line of sight. He has got to continue to go at that cut right now. Beautiful kick. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've ever done. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Oh, he's attacking guillotine. Oh. Oh, got to protect you. Let guillotine choke his left hand. Right oh, down. submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. Yeah, these guys are going after it, man. Both of them. Both inflicting damage on each other. And both are dealing with it and trying to continue in this fight. This is a great fight. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Clean with the right hook. Ten seconds to go in the round. Aldo's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week, but now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's going to have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. 
but hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in order to make the cut worse. I want you to go out there and put your combinations together. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Good jab there by the champion. Now there's an absolute mess right now. This fight might actually get stopped by the ringside position due to that coach. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Uppercut counter by Alba. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Circling to his right. Oh! That blood becoming a real factor. He's hurt bad. It's work, guys. Come on. Fast leg kick lands. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Beautiful job by the champion. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Some nice back and forth action here. Now there's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. It's a pretty good jab. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fight? Oh! Huge right hand! Well, you got him all with the toughness as he eats yet another calf kick to that lead level. Well, he's tough, but eventually the body just shuts down. If he takes many more of those, He's gonna end up having to go down to the ground. Dude needs to switch his stances right now. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch being landed there. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his oh, He's having to go back there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. Oh, it feels like at any oh, moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your friend. No. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. What a nasty flying knee to the head. All right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Down the stretch we come, final round, and what a fight, what a performance on both sides. They'll be feeling it tomorrow, but unbelievable will and fortitude on display tonight. I mean, this is what we as fight fans love, to see two fighters out there battered and bruised, bloody, have been in an absolute war, but neither of them willing to take a step back and give up. I don't know who's going to win this fight, but I do know I am very happy that I was able to call it. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Aldo. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. 
Oh, man. I mean, headshots they are not, but that calf is taking an absolute beating. This is hard to watch. It's hard to watch. It's hard to see a guy so limited in his defenses and not have the ability to do much to change it. We got to look for this fight to be finished here pretty soon. See how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Five Time.